Hey guys, so today I just wanted to come outside and do a little video on the meals. And just like how I had done a video on proper Indian club swinging technique, I just wanted to go over a little bit um, proper meal swinging technique. The same concepts kind of overlap. Um, so I'll go through just a couple, a couple mistakes that you see most often. And, um, and yeah, maybe do a, a few, show a few exercises that you can do to help strengthen your swing and strengthen the grip for swing meals. Um, I'm by no means an expert, not even close. I've been swinging these for about a year now, but I've done a lot of, um, a lot of reviewing, I suppose, of the technique that you see in the Zulkhanes in Iran and how the Iranians swing the meals. I don't base my technique, uh, technique too much off of the stuff you see on Instagram. Um, you know, if you want to if you want to learn something the right way, you watch the, the real deal. You watch the professionals do it. So, um, so yeah, I'll go over a couple of mistakes and uh, the fixes to those, and again, a few exercises that you can do to kind of help strengthen um, strengthen your your swinging. So the first mistake, um, just to start, is how you want to hold the meals when you're starting when you're relaxed with them and after each swing around. Every time you catch one, every time you bring it back around to that starting position, it should, uh, it should land in the same place. Now a lot of people when they're holding them, they hold them very high up, like this. This angle being about 90 degrees right now, that's too high. It's, uh, it's not a relaxed grip. You don't want to be up here when you're swinging your meals. It means you're, uh, you're a little too tight and you know it's all about swinging these is all about staying relaxed and almost going with the flow. Uh, it's exercise but, but it should be, uh, it should be relaxed and smooth. Yeah, um, you shouldn't be all tight and wound up up here. Makes it a little harder for them to balance too. So where you want to be is down by the waist. You want to be holding the meals down by about your waist, a little bit lower than the belly button. And if you can see my the angle in my arm now is about you know 110 degrees is what they're looking for. Maybe a little less than that, but you want that elbow angle to be obtuse, um, not a right angle. You don't want it to be an acute angle like this. You want it to be a nice obtuse angle. So um, after each catch, every time you swing it, these meals are returning to that low hold. And that just makes sure that you're staying nice and relaxed with them. Um, you're catching them with as little effort as possible. So uh, I'll show you a couple swings the bad way, and I'll show you a few the correct way. Well, first what I'll do is I'll go over the next mistake, and then I'll just show them all at the same time. So the next one kind of overlaps um, with the Indian club swinging. When you're bringing the club around your back, or when you're when you're swinging it behind, or going either going outwards or inwards with the clubs, um, you don't want to have that open that open angle by your elbow. That's just going to put some strain on the elbow, unnecessary strain on the elbow, unnecessary strain on the shoulder, and again, it just goes back to that whole you're not relaxed thing. Um, you want to be nice and relaxed when you're swinging the meals, and you want your tricep to be getting almost like a stretch in that uh, that elbow up position. So when you're swinging them, you don't want to have your hand, your arm open like this. You want to close it up.
and use uh, use your lats and your, your serratus anterior to get the, uh, the weight around instead of using your shoulder. So all the energy, all the, the strength is coming from the torso. Um, the hands are just almost like ropes. They guide the weight, but they're not doing the actual work. It's a lot of the shoulder girdle and, um, and the lats and the, the serratus anterior. So I'll show you guys the wrong way to swing them and then I'll show you guys the right way. So, take note. So that was the incorrect version. I'll show you the correct way to do it. Um, and another thing you might have noticed is I was standing very still uh, when you're swinging them. You kind of want a back and forth motion, almost like a dance with the clubs. And it just you're just using your momentum, your body, your whole body to swing the club over your shoulder instead of staying real rigid and just st uh, just using your shoulder. So. I'll show you the, uh, the correct way or more correct way. Like I said, I'm not an expert at this, but I know a little bit more um, than some people. So I'll show you guys the right way now. So, if you could notice, I'm a lot smoother there. I look, I, I feel a lot more relaxed. I seem a lot more relaxed. I'm letting the, 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 the meals act as a counterbalance as I shift my weight back and forth. Um, and that's just what you, uh, you want to look for. It's, it's almost like it's a meditation. It's not, uh, it's not like going into the gym and hitting weights real hard and staying tight. It's all about staying relaxed and, um, and, and counterbalancing the, the big weight that is the meals. Um, these aren't heavy by the way, these are about these are about eight pounds so for what they are they're not very heavy. Um, these things can go upwards of 30 pounds each so and it looks just the same. It looks exactly the same as as it does when it's real lightweight. It's almost like if you watch an Olympic lifter um, do their, their snatch and their clean and jerk warm-ups, the empty bar looks just the same as it does with 300, 400, 500 pounds on it. So um, anyway, that's, uh, that's just a little video on meal swinging technique and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh. Uh, a couple exercises that you can do to, um, to strengthen your swing up. One is to just swing with one, with one club and just focus on the one. That'll help you kind of get the technique down if you're not trying to focus on balancing the two meals at one time. And another exercise you could do to help strengthen them is uh, just holding them. Just holding them nice and low and relaxed, not against the body, a little bit as close as you can get to the body, but without re resting them on the body. Um, holding them nice and uh, nice and relaxed, and hold them for time. Hold them for time. That'll strengthen the, uh, the grip up, and it'll strengthen the shoulders and the arms, and um, you'll uh, get better with your meal technique. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed, and. Um, See you guys later.